Multicultural education is a way of incorporating history and perspectives of people from different cultural backgrounds. Multicultural education wouldn't be as far as it is today without the works of people like Ronald Takaki. Ronald Takaki was an author, professor, and scholar of ethnic studies. He was born in Honolulu, Hawaii, which is where his grandfather immigrated from Japan and worked on a sugarcane plantation. Dr. Takaki wasn't very academically driven when he was young. In fact, he actually loved surfing, and he was really good. So good he earned the nickname Ten Toes Takaki. It wasn't until one of his teachers advised him to go to college where he found his true passion. Attending the College of Wooster in Ohio, Dr. Takaki found that ethnic studies was his true calling. In Ohio, he married Carol Ramkin, who he would later have three children with. After earning his bachelor's degree in history, Dr. Takaki continued his education at the University of California, Berkeley, where he earned his master's degree and doctorate. He then became the first professor to teach a black history course at the University of California, Los Angeles. In 1971, he became the first full-time teacher in Berkeley's new ethnic studies department. Dr. Takaki wrote many pieces of literature. A Different Mirror, A History of Multicultural America, was a book he wrote in 1993 and it won the American Book Award. One of his other works, Strangers from a Different Shore, A History of Asian Americans, was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize. Some other accolades and awards Dr. Takaki received included a Fred Cody Award for Lifetime Literacy Achievement, an Award for Lifetime Achievement by the Association for Asian American Studies, a Goldwyn Smith University Lectureship, a Distinguished Messenger Lectureship from Cornell University, and honorary doctorates from Wilcock College, College of Wooster, Macalester College, Northeastern University, University of Massachusetts, Massachusetts College of Art, and Whitman College. Dr. Takaki was invited to lecture in seven different countries around the world. He also made multiple television appearances on shows such as NBC's Today Show, and CNN's International Hour and Crossfire. He also conducted a three-hour interview with C-SPAN. Dr. Takaki feels that educators, when teaching history, have to find ways to present the viewpoints of all the cultures involved, instead of the Eurocentric one traditional schooling has focused on. While Dr. Takaki realized that educators may be nervous to stray away from traditional teaching in order to incorporate multicultural education, he feels if educators preface their teaching with parent meetings to explain why they are teaching what they are teaching, it will alleviate some of the fear. Dr. Takaki likes the idea of having a common core set of knowledge that every American should know. However, he is weary of what the content of this core will be and who will be in charge of setting up these standards. The core content, in his opinion, should accurately reflect the history of America from every culture. He also believes the standards in education are created by agencies and not by the educators, which are the ones who are teaching our children. Dr. Takaki strongly believes in equal education. He states that even though his classes at the University of Berkeley show some diversity in terms of race, he believes students from lower socioeconomic backgrounds are not represented. Dr. Takaki's life work was dedicated to telling American history through the eyes of all the ethnic groups that helped shape it. Through his books, articles, interviews, and teachings, he has helped change the way we teach our American history. He helped shift teaching from a singular Eurocentric viewpoint to a multicultural one that better pictures America's past. He helped start the first doctoral program in ethics in the United States. This led to even more higher learning opportunities across the nation, which trickles down to how educators approach teaching in the classroom. He opened the doors for strong multicultural education which will lead to a stronger sense of belonging and equality for all students in America. Dr. Takaki's viewpoints go hand in hand with what I'm learning in my graduate studies currently. He reinforces my beliefs that every culture and ethnicity needs to be fairly represented in order to level the playing field and give every American a sense of belonging. I strongly believe that education plays the most important role in moving towards equality in America. It is through the teaching of great scholars like Ronald Takaki that education will move towards the equal opportunity it's supposed to be. Dr. Takaki, when talking in an interview, referenced the 1992 Los Angeles riots. He recalls how smoke was burning in the skies above LA and the Korean stores burning out of control and the frightening violence on the streets. 
but he stated that the most powerful image that was beamed out of LA that night was the trembling face of Rodney King. He even quoted Rodney King stating, we can get along, we can work it out. He then said, the question is, how do we work it out? How do we get along unless we learn about one another in a systemic and informed way? Multiculturalism can help reunite America. I strongly agree with Dr. Takaki. And it is odd that during this summer, we experienced a similar situation with George Floyd. This is proof that we still have a long way to go. I do feel events like these are opening the eyes of educators even more now than ever. There's no better time than now for educators to learn from people like Ronald Takaki.